downtown Reading, Ohio. Across the street is the IGA. We have Oasis Florist. We're walking down Mechanic Street. I'm going to take a look at my brand new listing. It's a cute little two bedroom bungalow right here off of Reading Road in Reading, Ohio. The address is 11 West Mechanic Street. Well, Phil, we're in the backyard of your cute little house here in Reading. Mm -hmm. A lot of plants, uh, a lot of growth. Why don't you walk through and tell us about all the different plants that we have back here? Okay, well, first we have the, the Russian sage here, and it's, uh, it, it pretty much blooms for quite a while. Yellow flowers here that I don't know where they are. I have the yellow gladiola that just popped up. Uh, That's beautiful. And we have some purple flowers here. And have some lilies here. And then here we had some uh, irises. They bloomed out really nice this spring. And over here we have the uh, the peonies, of course, they're early early bloomer, and then the next bush, it, it it that's more of a spring flower, a lilac. That's what it is, a lilac. Okay. And the other bush, I don't know what it is, but it has flowers in the early, late spring, early summer. Got a nice nice storage shed. Storage shed. The entire yard is fenced in. Yes, completely fenced. Great. Looks like the air conditioning unit is newer. It's fairly newer. It's uh, a high efficiency furnace and an air conditioner. A nice covered patio, yeah, and there's a couple awnings left that can be put back up on the windows. Right. Windows are, uh, all the windows in the front of the house are brand new. In the, yes, in the front, two front rooms and the, uh, the study room are, have new windows. Well, why don't we go in the house and walk through and take a look at that. Okay. Walking into the back door and this is the uh, mudroom area. You just tell me that your your mother would have loved to have had a mudroom when, right. you, were, when you were growing up. Right, had the six kids growing up. Mm -hmm. But it is a nice place to uh, come in, hang up your coat, uh, sit down, take off your dirty shoes and whatever. So how long have you owned this house? Uh, about uh, going on five years. Okay. It was primarily rental property. It was a rental property that I had rented to my son. Okay. And they've moved on. They've and moved on, right. You've done and you've had uh, professional painters come in and paint the entire you know, interior. All the walls and the ceilings have been painted. All the uh, cabinets have been cleaned. A new filter in the, in the range hood. A new dishwasher and a new refrigerator. Great. It's nice cabinets with uh, double bowl uh, stainless steel sink. And it's a ceramic tile floor. Yes, it's ceramic tile in this room and then in the small study room and continues on into the, uh, the bathroom. Well, this would be the bedroom And the new new windows were just installed last week, right, Bill? Uh, not two weeks ago. They're a full vinyl window, full double vinyl hung. Windows, uh, double pane with uh, the low E glass. So Terrific. They should be pretty efficient. Great. The install was, was good. I was watching them and made sure that everything was locked and everything properly. Has a pretty large closet. Underneath the carpeting is the hardwood floors. Then we can walk from this room and it connects into the front room. Nice big rooms, about 15 by 15. This would be your living room with a um, inoperable fireplace, but it's a beautiful fireplace. Or even a, a 
so we were just talking about that this being a um, being right here in the middle of Reading, uh, within walking distance of all the stores and shopping and anything you could think of. Right. The um, in fact it's only oh 50, 75 feet to Reading Road to the bus stop. Mm -hmm. Across Reading Road is the IGA store. Which they're having their lunch, their Friday lunch happening right now. Right, every Friday <laughs> during the summer they have their lunch. And then across Mechanic Street is the CVS store, which is a brand new store. Mm -hmm. And across the next street is the UDF store, which has, well, gasoline, man, ice cream. And ice cream, absolutely, everything you could think of. Right. <clears throat> this is a little study area. You could set up your desk and computer in this room. And that all takes you into the bathroom, which is an updated bathroom. Okay, now we'll venture down to the to the basement, basement. area. It's a real basement. <laughs> Have your laundry facilities set up here. It comes with the washer. The washer works very well. I've used it several times just to clean up my, to wash my cleaning rags and so forth. So somebody can bring in a, a gas dryer and hook it up? It's got a hook up for a gas dryer, right. Okay. It does have a high efficiency furnace. Is only a couple of years old, correct, Phil? It's probably, I don't know, six or seven years old. Okay. It was here when I bought the house uh, four and a half years ago. See, we have a nice large basement. It is your typical old home stone foundation. It has a, a coating of some sort over top of the stones. Gives it kind of a poured look. Mm -hmm. But with the age of this home, it, it is a stone foundation. There's one other room back here, which is kind of a bonus room. And this room could be used as a, somebody wanted to set up a, a bed or something and call it, use it as a bedroom yeah, or, my, or a little sitting room or family room down here. My uh, son used it. They had two young teenage girls and he used, they used it for those two girls that, okay. as a bedroom or a place for them to go. Great. So, uh, so if we wanted to target a particular type of buyer, you were mentioning earlier, it would be a, a you call an empty nester, retired couple or mm -hmm. single person. Somebody uh, who wants to downsize to a smaller single story. Or a young, or young couple house. that uh, wants to live economically in the middle of Reading. Right. Yeah, okay, great. Well, let's uh, get out there and find that buyer and let's sell this house. Okay. Uh